Hi, uh, today I will cover uh, double checked locking uh, design pattern. First, we will see the explanation of uh, double checked locking design pattern. Uh, this is explanation. In software engineering, double checked locking, also known as uh, double checked locking optimization, is a software design pattern used to reduce the overhead of acquiring a lock by first testing the locking criterion without actually acquiring the lock. Only if the locking criterion check indicates that locking is required, uh, does the actual locking lo logic proceed. Okay, uh, we'll see what it is. So, what we used to do is like uh, uh, suppose uh, multiple threads, uh, we don't want to enter into some method or object, we will just put the lock. So, uh, so every time uh, it will uh, make the lock. Uh, lock. So as per this uh, double checked uh, locking design pattern we should not do like that so what it is says is uh, we have to put the lock if it is really required so before you put the lock to the particular object or method uh, you have to check whether uh, a lock uh, lock criterion uh, says the lock is needed or not if lock criterion says okay lock is needed then put the lock if uh, lock criterion says uh, lock is uh, not needed then don't put the lock. Uh, we will see why uh, double checked locking uh, design pattern is needed. So here you can see a singleton uh, class. So as per the singleton uh, class that uh, uh, or singleton uh, design pattern, uh, the object should be created only once. Uh, so uh, we should not allow uh, the object should be created by a constructor. So the, we have to make uh, the constructor as uh, private. So uh, from other object uh, we can't create singleton object using constructor okay and uh, we have to provide the get instance method and here what we are doing is uh, we are checking uh, uh, instance equal to equal to null then create the instance and return the instance if instance is not equal to null then return the uh, return the instance uh, which is assigned in this uh, static singleton uh, variable okay so uh, this is this uh, this code will work in a single threaded environment properly no problem will come at any point of time only one instance will be created uh, because first time when it comes uh, single thread comes it will check instance equal to equal to null yeah it is null uh, then uh, it will create this object and return the instance so one time instance is created after uh, subsequent calls uh, the instance you will be not equal to null because we have assigned instance here so so it will return the same instance it was created uh, first time okay so at any point of time only one instance will be uh, created so this this method will work properly if uh, the thread is only one thread suppose in case of uh, multiple threads uh, this get instance uh, method will be failed uh, we will see that one. Suppose say thread A is executing this one get instance method. So it will check uh, if instance equal to equal to null. Yes, instance equal to equal to null because it is coming first time. So when it comes to this second line, okay, the thread B comes. Okay, then uh, thread A stop executing at the second uh, line. Then thread B enters here and it execute get instance method. It will check instance equal to equal to null. Yeah, it is still equal to equal to null because the first thread has not created the instance. It it came here but it stopped the first thread, thread A. So thread B comes, it will create the new instance and return the instance. So uh, one time a uh, single turn object is created. Okay. So once thread B finishes that one, uh, thread A will start from the second line. So thread A also now it will create the instance. Already thread B also created the instance. Now thread A also created the instance. So two times uh, this instance is created. So as per uh, the singleton design pattern, the instance should be created only one time. But uh, he, because of this multi-threaded uh, call, uh, now instance is created two times. So uh, this is against the singleton design pattern and uh, this is wrong. Okay. 
so what we can do is so to avoid this problem uh, we can make this method as synchronized so once you make this method as synchronized then once uh, thread a execute this one it will put the lock immediately and till thread a finishes the work thread b can't enter into this method so once uh, thread thread a finishes that one then thread b can enter and thread b will uh, put the lock so like that uh, it will do so every time the method is called lock will be put immediately so we are here we are not checking uh, whether lock is needed or not as per the double checked uh, locking design pattern what we are doing is we are making the method as synchronized and every time some thread calls it will put the lock uh, but when you see this one only first time uh, this synchronize is needed because after that first first time only uh, this instance will be equal to equal to null and it will create the instance for the subsequent calls this will be not null the second line won't be executed so every time this will be returned right uh, already exist, existing instance will be written uh, suppose we are making call 100 times only first time we need the synchronized uh, uh, method uh, the method should be synchronized for the subsequent call also uh, we are making synchronized so making synchronized is the costly operation it will degrade the performance uh, even though we needed uh, that uh, this should be uh, the singleton uh, the uh, synchronized we need for the first time we are making uh, we are using that synchronized for each and every call so that degrade the performance and uh, we are we are putting lock for each and every time so how to avoid this one so using double checked uh, locking design pattern we can avoid this one so how to do that one uh, i will explain in the next uh, uh, video tutorial uh, please log into my channel and watch that video and uh, this is about uh, double checked locking pattern uh, introduction and why we need uh, double checked uh, locking design pattern okay and uh, next video tutorial we will see how to do that uh, double checked uh, locking design okay and uh, thanks for watching bye